Well, this is a new experience for me. We're at Physicians Regional, and I'm with Dr. Chris Ramsey. We're in the robotic center, and Chris, you're gonna show me exactly what to do. So walk me around and tell me where we are. Okay, uh, this is the OR room, and this is the patient table. This is where the patient would lie during surgery. Uh, the first part of the robot, which is probably the most important part of the robot, uh, is, is the, the patient cart. And this is actually what is uh, translating my movements from the physician console over to operating on the patient. So, so you're not standing over here, you're over at the console that we'll go to in a minute. And this is the surgical arm that that's right here? That's exactly right. These are all the surgical arms. There's a camera that the, the physician controls. Uh, you have three separate arms that you can control uh, and switch back and forth between the arms in order to sew, in order to dissect tissue. Uh, so this is, this is where the, the actual operation occurs. What kind of surgery can be done with this robot? Almost any type of surgery that can be done laparoscopically uh, can be done with a robot or any type of surgery laparoscopically. So you do prostate surgery, yes, you sir. can take out the prostate, you can operate on the colon, on the bladder, all those things. Well, the kidneys, you can actually do tonsillectomies. So it's more than just in the abdomen. You, do you, they do any chest work? Cardiothoracic surgeons do uh, mitral valves. They also do uh, some bypass surgeries, lungs. So let's go over to, what do you call the other machine? That's the physician's console. The physician's console. Let's walk over there. Show me what it's like. This is the physician console. So Correct. This Have is, a seat. So I'm going to be the surgeon right here. Right. I've got a little hand piece right here that I put my fingers in. And now when I look in. So this is the monitor, what you're looking in. It's binocular vision. So you have three-dimensional vision. Your hands uh, control the instruments. And the feet. And the feet control which instrument you're using. It controls the uh, energy that you use in order to uh, do surgery and it also controls the camera. So you really have complete control of the entire operation from, from the physician console. So the magnification here is about tenfold. It just brings it right up to me. Um, a minute ago, you showed me how to do a suture. Right. It brought me back to my medical school days. <laughs> this. It was amazing how quick you could teach me how to do this. The advantages of using the robot would be Less bleeding. Less bleeding. Quicker recovery. Quicker recovery. Smaller incisions, so less pain. Wow. So does the robotic surgery for prostate surgery, does it help you have less incontinence or less erectile dysfunction? I think that the uh, robot surgery probably helps with erectile dysfunction uh, resolving sooner. I don't think it necessarily in the long run is better for erectile dysfunction or even incontinence, but I think you do have a quicker recovery with the robot surgery. I was talking to a patient the other day who you did his prostate surgery and he said, zingo, no problems that he had afterwards. Uh, is that a typical? That's, for the most part, that is a typical patient. I, I think that's fabulous. Chris, this is more fun than I've had in a month of Sundays. Well, th thanks for thank, coming. Thank you so much for teaching me and thank you for being part of the Dr. Bob Show. My pleasure. It's been great.